happy with the BRCs? I am. I went from, you know, wanting to be like a cinematographer, which is really creative and arty, to jumping across and becoming an engineer. I'm the youngest and only female broadcast engineer that runs trucks in Australia. 18's moving. The production trucks are probably the most important part of the outside broadcast. Without the trucks, you wouldn't go to air. Everything that happens on site happens in that truck. All the vision switching, the audio mixing, how the cameras look so pretty, that's all the magic happens. They've given themselves a chance. It's important to be able to handle the stress and pressure and be able to keep calm and level-headed. It's a bit of a circus. <laughs> it can be a bit of a circus. We've got the Channel 9 truck, Fox truck. I do a lot of live events, I do mostly sports, so netball, football, we do reality television as well. I did Love Island last year. As a part of sports broadcast, I do so much travel. <laughs> I'm somewhere new every weekend. Being able to travel and explore is definitely a big perk of the job. My backstory is that I did a Bachelor of Film and Television at Bond University. Through that two-year degree, we got the opportunity to work on the Commonwealth Games as kind of student assistants. I got put on beach volleyball as a technical assistant, which is really cool, and realised that that was just as creative as anything I needed in my life. I'm a shift worker, essentially. I will go wherever I need to go where the work is, which being a lot of live sports, it's on weekends. It is a hard life not having weekends, but like, who wants to go anywhere on a weekend anyway? That's where everyone is. <laughs> I'm really excited for the future of this industry. I think it's an amazing time to get in and get involved where we're pushing the boundaries, we're thinking of different ways and new ways of doing things, and it's so exciting, it's so much fun. We're making the impossible possible every day. We've got the Olympic Games coming up in 2032 as well, so in 10 years' time, if you're good at your job, <laughs> you never know.